Hi guys, today we'll be installing Pi Hole on a Raspberry Pi. To do that, go to official website raspberrypi.org. You can copy this command, it will automatic uh, download Pi Hole on your Raspberry Pi, or you can click there to go to github.com and copy this command to do the manual installation. This is the first command. We're going to copy this to our terminal and paste it here and then press enter I will have the link in the down in the description below this is the second command you'll copy copy that and paste it here to install the pie hole press OK and then OK again then OK again and then on this we're gonna keep it as a Google press OK and OK IPv4, IPv6 press OK and here you can say no and or you can keep it as it is so press no to change the IP address um, for me I'm gonna keep it as it is because um, this is the IP address I assigned manually to this Raspberry Pi so I click yes and then OK click OK again OK again just keep everything standard as it is and I'll keep it as a show everything and then it will install the pie hole installation done as you can see on the screen this is the password you'll need it for later so what we will do copy that and save it on a text file so don't forget that password so it is important to keep it in a safe place you can change that later as well This is the web server where it is started. We'll, as you can see, installation completed on the screen. We'll close the terminal and go to the, open up the browser and type in 127.0.0.1 slash admin and slash, then press enter. It'll bring you to this pie hole page. Then this is the dashboard as you can see already um, it will block um, block listed 84,690 by default we'll go to our login page by clicking on login and paste the password you copied before and then click login so this is the dashboard at the moment we have zero queries and zero blocked and this is the long-term data you can have a graph here once the block starts this is the whitelist you can whitelist the domains you want so for example you have to type in here what which uh, website you want to block uh, whitelist for example I'll say youtube.com I'll whitelist that here you don't have to it's uh, automatically whitelisted so this is just to show you an example how to whitelist and to do block list 
click on this uh, block list icon and then you block list the domain name here or the website you want to block list for example I want to block uh, facebook.com and then you type in here facebook.com and add, click on add to you can click there as well and click on add to block list and it will block uh, Facebook so you won't be able to use Facebook on your domain server or DNS server so that block listed So let's go to settings and as you can see I'm connected with my Ethernet ETHO and that's the Pi-hole IP address IPv4 address and this is the IPv6 address and that's the host name Raspberry This is the add list and it generates Pi-hole's gravity and this is DNS we are using Google DNS this is the DHCP you can enable DHCP server from here I'm not going to enable because you can't really run two DHCP servers in the same network you have to disable one otherwise you will get into um, problems network problems so I'll keep it as it is this is the API web interface I'll keep everything as it is. You can change things from here. We'll go to privacy. Privacy, I said show everything and record everything. So it will record whatever websites you are going to from that network. It will record there. You can choose file as well. let's go to the dashboard and as you can see it's zero block zero queries we'll go to open up our YouTube and see how it blocks the ads just to test it out on the right hand side you will see the queries as I click through the videos see that didn't that's two two million views and it didn't play the um, ads even that one it didn't play any ads it's blocked um, not all the ads will be blocked uh, some ads still will come through let's go to cnn.com and see how it looks like Let's make this bigger screen. As you can see, on the right hand side, there is a gap here, and the ad blocked by pi hole. There is another one. So pi hole is doing its job. As you can see, has been blocked. Here we go. Let's go to another website. Say, for example. We'll go to maybe facebook.com because I blocked it earlier if you remember. Let's see what happens. So if you type in facebook.com and press enter, uh -uh, 
didn't block but uh, it should block okay something is not working uh, maybe it's working now maybe I didn't refresh it before there we go as you can see now I'm on another computer to try out different web pages and how many ads it blocks or how many queries it goes through as you can see the numbers are going up so you can see in a graphing graphical interface which is great So these are the query type, these are the queries answered by and block list and queries blocked. This is the query log. So you can see which websites has been blocked and which ones whitelist. You can change it from here as well. If you want to whitelist any website, you can whitelist or you can put that in a blacklist as well so these are the queries Let's try this on my Mac computer and see how it works. So we'll go to our settings. In my Mac, I'm connected with the Wi-Fi. Let's go to the Wi-Fi preference, network preference, and then, then we'll go to advanced and then go to DNS, that one. Um, you type in your IP address 192.168 this is the IP address for the pihole.0.78 and then plus sign and press OK and then apply the changes as you can see I'm connecting with the internet which is uh, cnn.com and it is a bit slow looks like a bit slow uh, as you can see block ads blocked there's a gap in there there's another gap here there's another ad blocked and if we keep scrolling down there's nothing else let's uh, go to a different website bbc.com and see what happens there there is the ad blocked here yeah um, ads will be blocked you will see yeah you know, when I go back to Raspberry Pi how many ads blocked let's go to facebook.com because I blocked Facebook as you can see this site can be reached check the connection checking the proxy and the firewall it is because um, I put that in a block list so <laughs> it won't be accessible so let's go to Raspberry Pi and see how many total queries 22,000 and queries blocked 7,000 already in like few minutes to update the block list I will go to firebog.net I will have the link in the description below um, here there will be a lot of suspicious list advertising list you can copy one at a time um, you know and paste it in the block list group 
and then add it will be added here so you can go through that list um, really useful list and you can add one at a time or you can just copy all of them and add it to your block list So it's successfully added and uh, once it's done it says we have to run gravity so as you can see 84,000 on block list and now we'll go to tools click on tools and then go to update gravity and then update it will tell you please do not navigate away from or close this page so wait patiently there we go success it's done now we can go to our dashboard before it was um, if you remember 84,000 on the block list now it should change to let's see 163,000 which is a lot you can also update this list um, as you go through but I don't want to complicate it um, because I don't want to add, add too many block lists and then you'll you'll know next thing you know I won't be able to go to any web pages at all so you can update it as you go see that total queries total blocked percentage blocked so graphical interface is really beautiful. Uh, have fun guys. Have fun using this pie hole. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Peace.